So you can see here that the CO2 was actually just about to make its way to the whatever it's called the top fin power head so water is coming up from the bottom going through this motor and shooting out uh, the power head you can see there's a little nub to hook up your CO2 line we can see the CO2 line is just about full CO2 is being powered by sugar water yeast and baking soda goes into my bubbler so it just goes to my bubble counter so I can see that I'm getting about uh, one bubble per second it's usually a bit higher I just released all the pressure reconfiguring some stuff but you're about to see the magic happen this was just shooting out tons of bubbles a little bit too much so I'll show you how I controlled it there we go there's some bubbles really nice size bubbles by the time they get to the top yeah I mean so it looks good and you can see that my bubbler now that that's finished I mean it it works it works pretty good I went through a lot of dicking around to get it to work. Here's just a quick look at the rest of my aquarium. So here are the problems that I have. This, I don't know what type of plant it is, but uh, obviously damaged. This is a plant that I just bought. Uh, just bought it at the store, so hopefully it won't die and it'll actually grow. A little bit of a camera uh, hog there. Uh, and then this is my other plant which again sucks I got it from the store and it just wilted away so I'll try to get everything going here look so that's it now the concerns been uh, I don't know if these things work too well but I don't know about my pH level so also at the store I've got this little splitter and so what I'm hoping I can do which I haven't tried yet is adjust this here which should hypothetically shut off actually I don't want to shut that off I want to open the CO2 is coming up from here so I want to open this which will just let the CO2 go and that should reduce the amount of bubbles I'm getting I'm just opening this up slowly. Oh yeah, that for sure works. Right, so it's at this position now. So I'm just going to uh, rotate. I've got no bubbles right now. So I'll close that off a bit. And I can actually see the pressure working. I'm just afraid when I go to bed tonight I'm going to wake up and all these fish are going to be CO2 poisoned. So, you know, no effect over here. Come on, little bubble. Okay, so not quite enough. That was kind of neat. I'll just, just a little bit more up here. There we go, just a few bubbles. This is all that I want when I'm going to bed tonight, because otherwise I'm going to freak out. Actually, there's still a lot of bubbles. Oh, yeah, that's fine. So, I think this thing here is going to la last about a week, 
but honestly, um, I just used a Fluval CO2 kit, and it, it sucked. It let all the bubbles go in one great big bloop, and it, it clearly sucked. Yeah, these things here. I had the kit for this thing here. This is garbage. This doesn't work. This is $19, and it's, it's total junk. This will last one day. And look, garbage. Um, yeah, I think the rest of my kit, I've got an old Fluval 304 down there. Uh, it's a piece of crap, but I've had it for years and years, so once you get to know it, it works. There, that's a good amount of bubbles. I'm happy with that. So it's less bubbles now because I'm releasing just the slightest bit of pressure up here. Um, so again, just to go over all of this. Yeast from the store, like baker's yeast used in bread, uh, just just regular stuff. Um, so about like this much yeast, about this much sugar, this much baking powder, and then I just put in a bunch of water. The, that'll create CO2 gas, you can see a bunch of bubbles up here. Um, there's a this hose comes in just to about right here and so gas basically bubbles up and slowly makes its way through here which comes down this straw this tube and that's my bubble counter so I can see that it's about like two bubbles per, per minute per second which uh, you sort of just google around for to see what a good rate is apparently I fall in the good I'm using um, somebody else's formula for the mixture so it's a good starting point, but you basically dick around and just keep track of it. So this gas here is getting, this is all 100% CO2, for sure, CO2. And then there's another tube that comes out right here. So this one comes all the way down, and then there's another one just inside here. And it comes up, and it goes over to this guy here. And uh, this is my sort of flow control. I don't want too many bubbles, because I'm going to bed. But tomorrow morning, I'm going to close that right off, and I'm going to just bathe this tank in CO2, see what happens. Uh, and this one comes down through the water there, and attaches just to the power head. So I did some Googling, and I screwed around with these little air stones. These are garbage. Um, some ceramic methods and stuff, but uh, they said the best way to do it was just to get a, a CO2 power head. And this was 29 bucks. The CO2 kit, by the way, from Fluval, the CO2 20 was uh, 50 bucks. So this is cheaper. This whole setup is cheaper than buying the kit for this. This was 20 bucks. That was 29 bucks. This is, and the kit you need for this is like 50 bucks. So. This is by far the cheapest, most effective way to put CO2 into your tank. Uh, maybe if I get enough hits, I'll post updates on all this stuff later. Anyway, I hope you found my video helpful, because this has been a uh, sort of complicated uh, journey for me. About three days of research. No, way longer than that. It's okay. And uh, there it is.